I'm Brian Abel. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Two people in critical condition after an EMS truck was involved in a crash. It happened at the corner of Gratiot and Seymour. Officials say two paramedics were answering a call when a Ford Taurus disregarded a red light and hit the truck. Two people in the Taurus critically injured while the medics sustained only minor injuries. Detroit police, they are investigating after a man was shot outside of a nightclub. It happened outside the C-Note Lounge on Van Dyke near Seven Mile. Investigators say the 24-year-old victim was walking past the club just before 2 in the morning when he was shot twice. Those shots may have been fired from inside the club. The victim was rushed to the hospital and is in serious condition. Crews still cleaning up after severe storms from Friday night. The mess left behind in West Bloomfield was among the most significant people we spoke with say they heard a loud, quick storm before waking up to trees and branches down. 12,000 people were originally without power, but DTE crews worked all throughout the day, and that number has been reduced to just 3,000. Now let's get a check of weather with Mike Taylor. Mike. Hey, our forecast for tonight, 60 degrees, mostly clear. Winds are going to be fairly light. Into the day tomorrow, 79, just a few showers will be possible. Thinking about a 20% chance of some rain. After that, we'll be flirting with 80s, but then the 80s will return as we get towards Wednesday. They'll stay with us and look at the seven-day forecast. Just about every day, it's going to be dry. Good to hear. Many people invested in the lives of Detroit students came out for a very special cause on Saturday, the third annual Children's Fund Dinner. Hopes and Dreams was held at the State Savings Bank in the Motor City. Guests were dressed to the nines to raise money for the nonprofit. The goal to ensure kids get a quality education in their hometown. Our very own Glenda Lewis served as MC. Well, those are your headlines. Remember, you can always go to WXYZ.com and our app for news anytime. I'm Brian Abel. Have a great day.